So I just picked this beast up. It's a John Deere 111. It's got a Briggs and Stratton 11 horsepower engine in it. Electric start. According to the data plate, it's a 1983 model on the engine. Previous owner put a new battery in it. It's overall very clean. It does run, transmission works, and the blades engage. But the spindles make a lot of noise. I'm assuming they probably need some grease or maybe rebuilding. 38 inch cut. Yeah, it's gonna need a new seat. So when I got this in, I had to wait till the evening and I actually degreased all this and pressure washed it. Started changing the fuel lines. I got the vacuum line changed, the line to the carb changed. I got this little short line changed. I got a new a fuel filter coming, uh, shut off Hitcock, and then I'm gonna rerun the fuel back, fuel line to the back of the tank. It does need a new air cleaner cover. So these things had like a gasket inside and it's completely gone. So I'm trying to find one of those. Somebody modified the coil wire. So I'm on the hunt for a new coil. I think I got one. Standard rear and layout for the deer. Got a plastic fuel tank on it. I'm trying to run it out of fuels and put fresh and on ethanol. Really, I don't think it's gonna take much to get this thing back to 100% new. So let's uh let's get into it. So one of the first things I wanna do is pull this deck off. Gotta get these pins out. And I'm trying to release the pins that hold it, the mower deck on. So there's one on this side and one on the other. So this is the first look at the deck. First time I've ever pulled it off. The owner did tell me, previous owner said that he did this broke and he zip tied this. So I gotta fix that. Let's take this cover off. So I got most of the deck pulled apart. I got the spindles. Oh, it's just three bolts holding them in. And I gotta trade the front and up. What the repair kit is for these, or I found an aftermarket set with grease fittings. So these do not have grease fittings on them anywhere, which sucks. I like grease fittings. So, so here's how I'm out with it. I need to drain the tank and I found the pet cock underneath. So I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect this fuel line, bring it down and try to drain the tank out. All right, here's our man. I'm trying to route this fuel line. I've got it out. I mean, I've got it hooked to the tank. I'm waiting on a new fuel filter and pet cock to come in, but the other one's pretty trashed. And I needed room. So here's the underneath of this machine. So it's your blade assembly with your clutch, drive belt. This is your drive clutch mechanism here. The belt actually looks really good. Back to the transmission. But so the tank is, the bottom of the tank is right here. So I just rerouted a new line. I've just, I gotta do it a little bit better. I'm not, I'm not happy, super happy with it. And also to note while I'm down here, this is your actual brake assembly right here. What is that? There's the fuel line. The new one all routed. And I got way more pressure washing to do under here. I wanna clean all this up. So I just got in the last of the pieces I needed for the fuel system. Peacock valve and a new fuel filter. Let's put them on.
cut this out. So that's there. And I could do something like, uh, right. All right, so here it is. I got it all plumbed in now. All the crimps are on. This thing does put some uh, gas in it. Also up. gonna change the plug real quick. So the manual called for Champion CJ8. Yeah, as an option. So this is the one I pulled out. And this is the new CJ8 I'm putting in. So I just put fuel in it. Let's see what happens. So the engine smoke you see coming off, that's PB Blaster, a shot in there. I'm gonna eventually take the exhaust manifold off. So the fuel system works. The thing I'm waiting on is a, uh, we got a new front tire on order, carburetor kit, and then I'm gonna uh, uh, go in and check the valves. I've been sitting here letting it run for a little bit, and just changing the fuel filter and the fuel lines made a huge difference before this thing would not even idle and i haven't really done any adjustments to it but listen i'm not sure if i need to do a, a car cleaning job for this thing rebuild it so it sounds good i had to adjust the idle down it was on a fast idle but i think it just had bad gas a clogged fuel filter maybe a clogged fuel line i don't know i'll call it maybe the spark plug has something to do with it who knows but I figure while i'm at it I might as well just go and change the oil on it it's uh it's black i got some fresh synthetic to go in so we got the oil change on this thing there's no dipstick on this one so we're gonna try something different here. You could have gotten this machine to dipstick. So we're gonna try this now. I got this off the bag, so let's see what happens. I was wondering the part number for this kit was 392067. This box with some parts in it, nuts and bolts, that kind of stuff. Was it set up for this one? Even though I went on line found all my part numbers i figured a few things might be off let's take this cover off let's see if it's not going to be interfering with it there all right so let's try this nope nope definitely not the right one and you have to that'll work Actually, that works. But how do I? Oh, it doesn't have the holes drilled in. All right, all right. Uh, so yeah, there's the original bricks and scrap and part number. Kind of roll of the dice. Damn. Yep. 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 Close. It'll work. It'll work. I'll drill two little pile of holes in there, and boom, we're done. Let's try this again. Uh, let's make sure the hood closes on. Ah, uh, no, that's not going to work. No? Sort of? Let's do something else. Let's see how much I can screw up today. So, this is one of the things I found when I first got the machine. But this is supposed to come with a gasket. It was in there, but it's falling apart. I mean, this is just garbage. I forgot brakes put these little tabs on. There we go. Yeah. So, the coil. So, I want to change the coil. Well, some, somebody cut and spliced this coil and then put electrical tape and put it back together. Just so happens I found the right coil. I hope it's the right coil. 398811. And then I got the air 
filter or the air cleaner gasket that goes inside inside there. That's part number 397971. Got both of these from the same seller on eBay. That boot. We might can fix this and just save that as a backup. So we know we know this works, right? So I just pulled the old one apart. You can see here, it had burnt through. So I guess the previous owner just put some tape around it. I'm gonna cut this guy. All right, so both coals actually work in my infinite stupidity. I forgot to hook one of the ground wires up so it wouldn't kill it. So I went in and re-spliced this one. Uh, it works. It's there, so I've got the other one as a backup in case this one fails. So here's the new one versus the old one. And the part number for this, the part number for this is 393-725. All right, so that's a lot of the cork material I got out of this thing. Just got a this cover, this metal cover that goes down here. Hold everything nice and firm. Down there like that. And then it's got a couple multi-piece bolt system. So basically, this gasket just goes inside of here like this, right? So it's supposed to seal it all up. It's got adhesive on the other side. So now I gotta get it back this out. This guy here, this is the way it's supposed to work. So to find out, we got one shot at this. It's really sticky. And then, that, that. And that's supposed to be that. And that's supposed to be the foam seal that goes in here. Oh yeah, it, it actually fits up nicely. Let's bolt it down. Your cover is going to work. I don't really think so. That's what happens here. Look at that. That's good enough for the girls I go with. Right. Yeah, we can make everything work now. This guy back on. There we go. We're going to need one more. All right, so here's where I'm at on this thing. So, this is the deck spindles. This deck has two spindle assemblies. I pulled them apart yesterday. I didn't film any of that. Um, it was an interesting operation. I'll, I'll talk through it. It's not really that bad. It was just me and my neighbor were doing it. I didn't have time to film. All right, this is what came out of the spindles. And these things are locked up. So the shaft, the shaft right here, was just turning on the inside of this, this race. So this race wasn't even spinning. Like I think I had two or three of them. Like, yeah, that was locked up too. So they're... They're shot, so if anybody's interested, that's the part number for the spindle bearing assembly, JD9296. Had to buy four of these, because each one takes two. So yeah, I'm just gonna kind of sit here and clean them up, and then I'll walk through how, like, how I took them apart, and hopefully how to put them together.
the way you take this apart, under the nut, obviously with an impact, you can take it, hold, just hold it upside down. I smacked it a couple times all the way around. And the first one just popped right off with eight or 10 hits. And then you have to, once you get this off, put the nut back on, it kind of jimmy this thing up somehow. You can press it out or you can take a hammer as long as you put the nut back on it so you don't booger up these threads and just keep working on it. Uh, me and my neighbor on the second one gave us a fit. So we had it actually, we had it on the ground. He had pry bars, two pry bars on it. And I was just hitting it as hard as I can. We eventually drove this off and then kind of did the same thing, getting it out. But these before, these things were making a whole lot of racket. Now they're smooth like they should be. Um, there's no grease fitting, obviously. Uh, packed it back up with grease pretty good. Uh, torqued this guy down. There's no play in it. There's no play in the bearings at all, which is what I wanted. And it makes no noise. So but, uh, I'm going to go ahead and just do the next one off camera, and then we'll start putting this thing back together. So you got both of the spindles put back together. Plenty of grease oozing out of them. Both spin freely. While I was messing around, I went ahead and sharpened this blade. I'm gonna go ahead and sharpen the other one, but yeah. Had some nicks and cleaned it up. Getting ready to put this uh, deck back on. All right, so I'm ready to put the spindles back in the deck. As I mentioned before, the belt's in really good shape. I'm not gonna change it. I do have this spring that came in. I hope it's the right one. And I went ahead and got a replacement for that one. Again, I hope it's the right one. Doesn't look like it, but you can find it. Also, John Deere made a mulch cover for this. They want like $89 or something like that. I found one for 69 on eBay plus, plus shipping. I'm gonna try to make my own once I get off. In case anybody was wondering, the part number for the short spring, this is S169M. And the one for the long spring is this M. Hey, hey, hey.
a while and it uh it's performing great so next time i'll do is fix this so a little trick i learned from my i watch andrew camarado a lot i don't know why it never dawned on me so he uses cardboard a lot so i threw this big piece of cardboard up made myself a template cut it out so i'm just to cut out some metal i'm trying to fill this in with that uh overpriced john deere uh, mulching with like that. i uh shoot real quick the holes oh it's still hot uh, but basically it goes right in there slides in boom done deal normally i just paint my stuff black but this time i got some rust-oleum and here it is painted John Deere yellow came out good. Right, so here it is all. Yeah, you know, it's bright yellow compared to the rest of the deck, but hey, it works. It saved me like 60 something dollars. Four bolts in it. I went on some tabs on here to kind of keep it from moving around. Yeah. Uh, I think I'm gonna wrap this up for this video. So uh, this is not leaking at all right here. So you did a good job there. Let's check the oil. Holding on. So. Blades cut great. Sharpen those up. Spindles don't make any noise. All right, so here's the bad on this thing at this point. It needs a new seat. New clutch, but I'm gonna wait. It's running. So whenever I do that, whenever I pull the clutch out, I'm gonna pull the pull engine, the engine I'll do a, a valve job on it. So I got the valve gasket set. I got a carburetor kit. That's the part number. I still have this new coil, so I'll put that on at the time, and I still have the brake pads I need to change. New front tire plus two new tubes. I gotta figure out how to change so them. So I put, I paid $200 for this machine. Didn't even haggle with the guy. Straight up cash, let's go, let's do it. Uh, let's get the oil changed. Let's see, so I'm gonna put this on the front tire. I've still got some more I'm gonna put into it. So um, the clutch assembly is whining. I need to change that. When I do, I'll pull the engine off, regasket it, just freshen up the engine, new new, uh, new car uh, gasket set. I'll do a valve job on it. Um, I still got brakes, new tires, new seats. So I hope you enjoyed this video. It was a lot of work. This machine was fun. We've already been mowing my mine, mowed the neighbor's yard. So. It's been a good time, so hope y'all enjoyed it.